Hey guys, it's your girl Shala, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shala's Creations Way. Yes, how to mash avocados, mm-mm-mm, keto friendly. Here we go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is your girl Shala, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shala's Creations Way. So this morning, you guys, I'm going to do a little quickie. I have me three avocados, and you can see the touch. They're soft, so that means they're ripe. They're ready to be cut. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, oh, and I got me some lemon. So I'm going to squeeze this lemon juice on to keep them from browning. So hopefully that works too. All right. Knowing my daughter, she's here to do this, but she's not. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. twist oh look at that nice so I'm gonna do both halves like that yeah all right and then the third one all right so there we go now the tricky part is to get the seed out and my daughter she normally has no problem getting that seed out of there all right there we go so we got one seed out two seed out and yeah, so it was a little bitty seed that was a little seed all right so let me get my spoon and we're gonna scoop So we're just going to get everything out of there. Y'all see? Let me lift y'all up a little bit. There we go. All right, so we're just going to scoop everything out of here. And avocados have a lot of good fats. So if you guys are doing keto or anything that you want to get some good fats, dieting, want some good fats, then get you some good old avocados. Use it as your mayonnaise. You use this as a lot of, a lot of things. You can make you some guacamole, some healthy guacamole whatever you want. Just dice up some tomatoes and some onions. So this is the last one right here. All right, there we go. So we have all of our avocados in the bowl. Now we're gonna mash. Wash my hands. All right. Now I have my handy dandy masher here. And before I mash though, I am gonna take my my good old fat juicy lemon and squeeze me some juices in there. And it's got a lot of seeds in it. Get these seeds out of there. We don't want seeds in our guacamole. Oh that's all yeah, I saw one in there. Yeah, yeah, I should have I should have used my Should have used my um, limit apparatus, but I didn't. So. All right, let's try this again. Let's go ahead and mash it up. Just like you mash your mashed potatoes. Just like mashing sweet potatoes. You gotta just mash these babies up. And I have a little plastic container that I'm going to put them in. Reusable, it's a reusable plastic container. I actually had some, some onion dip or French onion dip in it. Okay. So this looks like the consistency that I want. Let's see. Let y'all see it. Okay. See that? 
that's the consistency I want. Now let's try this. Let's try this lemon again. Well, I got these lemons from Walmart, and these are some huge. When I tell you some huge lemons, they look like oranges or grapefruit. They are huge, and they're loaded with seeds. Okay. All right. So that should be good. They are definitely loaded with seeds. Let's smash them in one more time. I don't want them to turn brown. There. Now, I'm going to put them in my little container. I have this little container right here. And I'm going to put them in this container. And hopefully, it stays for at least two days. because this is three avocados and I don't think I'll be eating three at one time. So we're just gonna scoop them and put it in, in here. If you want it even smoother, you can use a blender, but I want mine to have a little texture. So that's why I did the mash with the with the masher. Look at that. Now we're gonna make sure we get all of our all of our avocado out of here. Yeah. Alright. Looks like we got it all. Yep, so this is it you guys. Look at that. And it didn't take hardly any time. And voila, you got you some good old, nice, mashed up avocado. You can spray it on some toast or on your burger or whatever where you need the extra fat. And I'm just going to take the lid, put a little saran wrap on it. Take the lid. Actually, I'll use the same saran wrap that I had for my lemon and put it over this bowl and put the lid on here and we're going to put it in the refrigerator. And voila! Thank you guys for joining me. Promo STK. She loves creation's way and I'm on my health journey. Thank you guys for being a part of it. This is what I'm going to spread on. Some rice cakes and have as my breakfast with some eggs this morning. Hey guys, it's your girl Shella, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, and also P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shella's Creations Way. Y'all, I'm celebrating my birthday this month. Yes, May 25th is my day, but guess what? We're doing a cash app. Yes, we're doing a cash app. Yes, you guys want to enter? Go ahead and enter. You have May 1st through May 31st before midnight to enter. The drawing will be held live. Yes, the drawing will be held live on June 1st. Yes, so y'all stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned for more info. You enter by doing a cash out for $1. Yes, so if you do not have cash out, please get your cash out. Winner must have a cash app. Winner do not have to be present. So you don't have to be present for the grand drawing. But you do have to be present for the other drawings we're going to be having. And you have to have your name in the bucket. Because you got to have it in there. Because we're going to be drawing the names from out of the cash app pool. Alright. There will also be additional prizes. Oh yeah, additional little giveaways. And that's gonna be for the people that do the dollar cash app as well, but that are actually present in the live. And they'll have to answer some questions. Questions are, 
how well do you know me? So y'all check out my video. Yes, you guys, y'all check out my videos. It's gonna be some trivia questions. I'm the birthday girl. So I'm gonna have some questions to ask you. And if you answer them correctly, guess what? You'll win some of the little drawings we'll have. <laughs> 